What up, party people? I am Matt Lehman, the owner of Spatula City Records, and this is Controversial Album Covers. This is episode number 22, and we are sponsored by... SpatulaCityRecords.com. We don't sell spatulas, we don't live in the city, but we do sell records. Today we're going to talk about Bon Jovi Slippery When Wet. This came out in 1986, and it went through several name changes. Most notably, they were going to call it Wanted, Dead or Alive, and the concept was going to be all of the band members would be walking around in cowboy garb down the street... And if that sounds familiar, that's because it's on the cover of the jacket for the 12-inch single of the same name, Wanted Dead or Alive. That was, the, that was the working title until they went to Vancouver, British Columbia, and walked into a strip club named the, num the Number 5 Orange, and they watched a stripper come down from the ceiling on a pole where she proceeded to take off all of her clothes, then she got into a shower and soaked herself up. Richie Samboris said they almost lost their tongues and they just sat there and said, we will be here every day. So because of that, they decided to name it Slippery When Wet, hence the pole and the stripper. The cover that everybody knows is actually just a black plastic bag with the letters scrawled in the water on the black plastic bag. However, this was supposedly going to be the original cover and they liked it, but then they decided that the record exec said that the American record store change probably wouldn't leave, wouldn't wouldn't uh, allow it in their shops because of sexism, which is kind of crazy in 1986 because sexism was fairly rampant. Uh, and also, John Bon Jovi said he did not like the pink border on it, which is surprising because 86 was the heyday of pink, hot pink. You couldn't pick up a hair metal guitarist and swing him around without his teased out hair hitting something hot pink so that's kind of crazy uh so but this was released in japan as the original cover that's the only place you can get it it was never reissued anywhere else um this way as far as i know i mean outside the outside the u.s or i think there are other copies like uh uk might have one but i'm not 100 on that uh the album was a massive commercial success between 1986 slippery uh, slippery when wet produced a string of songs hits on the top billboard 100 uh, two of which you give Love a Bad Name and Living on a Prayer, uh, which made Bon Jovi the first glam metal band ever to have two consecutive number one Billboard Hot 100 chart hits. The third single, Wanted Dead or Alive, which we just talked about, peaked at number seven, Making Slippery When Wet, the first ever metal album to have three Billboard 100 top ten hits. I think they're shooting pretty loose on the term metal, but what are you going to do? The term of metal was a whole lot different in the 80s than it is now. Uh, this album peaked at number one on the Billboard 200, making it Bon Jovi's first number one album in the United States. And the album spent 38 weeks inside the top five on Billboard's 200, including eight weeks at number one. It is the best-selling album of 1987 in the United States and even reached Diamonds Certified by the RIAA. In the UK, it was received three, triple, three times platinum, and the album received Diamond status in Canada and six times platinum in Australia. So, I don't know which one you like better, but there they are. Not a crazy controversy, but it is... It is what it is. Thanks for watching. As always, SpatulaCityRecords.com. Buy nine, get one free. Free shipping on orders of $50 or more. And all of our records are ultrasonically clean. I'll see you next time.